Hi, I'm Brian Van from SportBikeTrackGear.com, and today we're going to do a video review on the all-new Dyna's Aero Evo one-piece road race suit. We have Andrew here with us today in the suit. We've got him in a size 50 euro or 40 US. How tall are you, bud? Uh, 5'10". I weigh 175 pounds today. And how would you rate the fit of the suit? Spot on, perfect. And, and if I were sizing you up, sight unseen, you gave me your measurements, general description of your build, that is the size I would put you in. Mm -hmm. This suit was designed with freedom of movement and ventilation in mind. A real premium put on freedom of movement. It is built using their D-skin leather. That is the high-end leather for them. It's more abrasion and tear resistant and it's softer to the touch, more pliable, more comfortable. Generous use of S1 fabric. This is a top-end abrasion and tear resistant fabric that allows for free-flowing air. So everywhere you see this fabric, you have movement and ventilation. These leather stretch panels, look at this, all the way up into his chest, down the side, under the arm, around the back, okay? Now, if you look at the chest of the suit, every one of these ribs, that's not just an accent for styling, that is a microelastic stretch panel, which means this suit has the ability to move. Every one of those ribs can expand and contract. The suit can accept a chest protector. If Andrew chooses to put one in, these will stretch out, allow the chest protector to go in, it doesn't change the fit of the suit a whole bunch. That's pretty sweet that you're able to do that. What is very unique is going to be the stretch panel in the knee and the quad. Every one of these ribs is a stretch panel. Watch that work. This is a solid piece of leather from the top of the knee up to his hip. Never seen that used before in a suit. How does that feel? Feels great. That solid piece of leather, larger piece of leather, also offers more comfort and more protection than by using a standard real close-knit leather stretch panel in that area. We have on this suit CE certified protection here on the shoulder, soft foam underneath, we've got a molded shoulder protector, and then aluminum insert. CE certified protection here on the elbow and forearm, GP armor, hard outer shell, energy absorbing foam, multiple layers of leather, we've got a flex panel here in the elbow, reflective panel here. The spec sheet for this suit and the website show an aluminum plate here on the elbow, an aluminum slider. As you can see, the sample that we have does not have that. That is a question that we're going to have to answer. We'll address it on the website, of course, and we'll also address it in the comments of this video because we want to make sure that the accuracy is where it needs to be. But we, per the spec sheet, it should have an aluminum slider there. A lot of perforation here in the arm. You want to turn around, back to the camera. Lots of perforation here in the backs of the arms, and look at this stretch panel, Josh, if you want to go ahead and pan down. Watch this thing work. This thing is able to move with the rider in every single direction conceivable, right? The way they have these from the back of the shoulder, around to the front, up to the chest, it's absolutely amazing. We have a stretch panel here in the back of the neck, so when you get into a race tuck, that can move with you. It doesn't pull on the front of the suit. We have an access port for a Dyna's drink bag. You can see some of the microelastic stretch here in the lower back area. Double panels of leather here in the seat. Tailbone protector stitched in if you want to pan down a little more, Josh. S1 fabric here all on the back of the legs. We have a nice lightweight mesh at the back of the knees. That's for comfort and cooling. You're able with this particular suit to go over a Dyna's boot that is meant to be inside a suit, or you're able to use a traditional boot like Andrew has here and put the boot over the outside of the suit. One last thing I would like to mention, two things actually. One is, this is the double zip model, okay? Zipper on both sides. How do we put that on, Andrew? We bend over at the waist and pull up. And is it easy or is it hard? Once you get the use of it, it's very easy. Right, but you have to bend over. You try to zip this rascal standing up. You can't do it. We need two people. It's going to be really difficult. Bend over at the waist. He knows he has a red line suit, which is a double zip. Yep. And I know you'll like it. Love it. A lot. We also have CE certified protection here in the knee. We're going to break this down in more detail in the second part of the video. GP armor. We've got the aluminum insert and slider there. This is one very serious piece of comfortable riding and racing gear. If you'd like some more details on it, stay tuned for the second part. We're going to get the suit off, Andrew, give you a high-level look from the inside out of the all-new Dyna's Aero Evo one-piece race suit. All right, here we go with the all-new Dyna's Aero Evo one-piece perforated race suit from the inside out. Begin here at the back with the race home. 
aerodynamic race hump. We have a motion panel here done in the S1 fabric. Base of the neck, you go to get in the tuck position, you move your neck back. This just moves with less restriction than leather would, keeps it more comfortable. Got a pass through here for a drink bag. If you want to use it, there are provisions in the liner to zip it away. Because remember, there is no removable liner on this suit. It's one of those fixed 3D bubble liners, but you're able to zip open some panels, get into the race home, put your drink bag in if you want to do so. D-skin leather on this suit, which is their high-end leather, tons of motion panels. You can see that we have a large U-shaped panel here, right, through the waist, spans up into the chest, an intersecting panel right here from the top of the shoulder, intersects with the chest, and then we have some new technology that they've been using. They've been using this for a couple of years now. It's a different style of stretch panel right here. You can see the larger ribs, and you can see how that expands and works in concert with the other panels in the suit. Really enhances the mobility the suit offers. We'll stay on the back of the suit right now. Double layer of leather here in the seat. Foam panel stitched in to protect the tailbone. High-end S1 fabric, very abrasion and tear resistant, is used all through the crotch. The legs, the very back of the knees, we're using a lightweight mesh panel. This is out of the impact and abrasion zone, just keeps the suit more comfortable in that area. This suit will allow you to use a Dynase boot that goes inside the suit or a traditional boot that goes over the suit. It has both zippers. It has the expansion panel for the over the boot, right? and zip that closed, pleats up nicely, put a traditional boot over the outside of the suit. You can see there's an elasticated panel even built into the S1 fabric here. We'll open this up and give you a look at that 3D spacer fabric they're using. This stuff is really cool because it maintains a pocket of air between the suit and your body that really helps to keep you cool. On a heavily perf suit like this, it all works together these motion panels, the D-skin leather for a comfortable ride and you're not fighting the suit, which is really key. Let's come around to the front of the suit. This is a double zip style suit, okay? Where you have two zippers up the side. Remember the way to do this is to bend over at the waist and pull up on the zippers. It makes it really easy. Protection built into the suit. We've got that famous composite Dyna shoulder protector. Okay, we have the inner energy absorbing foam, molded plastic shell, leather over the top, and then we have an aluminum insert plate protecting the side of the arm, energy absorbing foam, stitched behind the D-skin leather. Remember, the perforation you see here is active. Special proprietary technology allows them to perforate the leather and the foam so it's lined up. A lot of perforation here in the forearm. Nice motion panel here in the elbow. We have a CE certified protector here in the elbow and form. CE certified in the shoulder as well. This is a traditional style with a plastic hard outer shell, energy absorbing foam. This can be removed if you want to do so. You have to go through the pass-throughs to get to the arrow hump. S1 fabric all the way from the forearm and the wrist up into the collarbone area. Remember that stuff flows air freely too, so there's a lot of provision for airflow in this suit. Take a look at how those stretch panels are coming literally all the way around the front of the suit. Really enhances the mobility. That is what is unique with this. The high-end leather, tons of motion panels, very abrasion resistant and comfortable at the same time. Quick look at that liner on the inside. They're using this stuff everywhere they can, everywhere it makes sense, and it really increases the comfort the suit offers. To get to the drink bag or to the arrow hump, you just zip open either one of these panels here. Get right to the hump, there's a zipper pocket there, undo it. Give you a little look inside the suit. You can see some of the foam panels, how they're stitched in, some of the safety seams, how they're in play. This can accept the chest protector, right? It's got a pocket here that zips open, chest protection fits inside, so if you're inclined to wear that, it integrates inside the suit. This has excellent protection for the hip. They're using energy absorbing foam, it's medium density stuff that covers around the hip, the legs, and in the real hot spot right on the hip itself, they have this nice rubber cell technology armor. It backs that up, can manage a lot of energy in a crash. It's nice to see that integrated into the suit. Come down the front of the suit. 
look at these stretch panels they've built in here. And the way they intersect, I mean, this thing can literally be pulled in many different directions because of this panel, because of the S1 fabric that's used. And you look, they've integrated these unique stretch panels into almost every area on this suit. Really enhances the mobility. Get down to the knee. CE certified protection. We have a lot of stuff happening here. We've got the D-skin leather, multiple layers, energy absorbing foam, a GP style protector with a hard outer GP shell, energy absorbing foam, along with they have a molded kind of a soft protector here with an aluminum plate fixed to this outside of it. Replaceable knee slider. This is a really unique motion panel here in the knee. Normally we're used to seeing all these tiny little bunches of leather here. We, they have used several all the way up your quad, okay, several of these larger ribs. And it's definitely interesting, it's very effective, and it offers a unique look and style to the suit. And perhaps you could argue maybe even more protective, because look at the piece of leather, how big it is. You've got this huge piece of leather from the top of the kneecap all the way up into the chest of the suit. When you keep it one piece, it always ends up being more protective. All in all, what do we think of this suit? A lot of technology blended into this. The thing looks great. It moves well on your body. It's unique with the double zip. Can accept the chest protection, which is cool. The D-skin leather is really special. The stuff is their high-end product. Very abrasion and tear resistant. While it's very comfortable and soft as well. This is the all-new Aero Evo one-piece race suit. I'm Brian Vance, SportBikeTracker.com.